again, Russell Mark here from Go Shooting. Today's topic is the humble recoil pad. There's a huge variety out there. Let's discuss what's good and maybe the ones that aren't so great. Over the years, there's been different claims from manufacturers of recoil pads about what these things can actually do. Some claim just to negate the effect of the actual recoil on your shoulder. Some claim to cure global warming with these things. But are some better than others? By far the most popular recoil pad is the straight pad, very common on European guns like Berettas or Parazzi's. These generally fit most body shapes and are certainly the most forgiving if you happen to mismount your gun just a little bit on your shoulder. In events like International Skeet, the flat pad is ideal even for hunters, but in sporting clays, many of their shooters like their top of their pads rounded here to aid just a slightly quicker gun mount. In events like trap, where the target can be called for after you've mounted the gun to your shoulder, there's an argument a slightly curved pad will actually aid a more consistent gun mount. The argument against a recoil pad that's curved like this is unless your stock fits you perfectly, the edges of these pads can dig into your shoulder and that'll cause you problems. My preference, if you like a curved pad, is for one that is slightly less curved like this one. For a lot of big chested guys or even many women, these concave pads have proved very popular. The composition of pads has changed dramatically over the years. They used to be as rock hard as concrete. Now they can be so spongy that they can actually wobble on your shoulder. You need to experiment, find what's right for your body shape and the technique that you're using. The options are endless, but the good news is a recall pad is one of the cheaper accessories for your gun. We hope this little video helps, and as always, we look forward to seeing you at a go shooting range really soon.